Hi everyone, it's Sherry with Blessed Bobbles. Move over, Miss Percy. And I want to welcome you to my channel. I'm glad that you're here. I hope you'll consider subscribing. If you do, please click the subscribe button and hit the bell so you'll be notified when my next video comes out. And I am pretty low tech here, so I appreciate you putting up with my sign. Also, I want to let you know if you see anything you like, here is how you can purchase. Please send me an email to capecodebaygirl at gmail.com and I will need you to send me these four pieces of information. I don't need a screenshot. If you'd like to send me a screenshot for your own records, that's okay. But this is what I do need, okay? So please send me the video name and episode number the timestamps of when your pieces show. And again, if you need to find the timestamps and you're on a TV, you can push the pause button. Actually, on any device, you can push the pause button. The timestamps will be to your left. The total time of the video will be to the right. Then I need a brief description of the pieces that you want and the prices that were given. I know that seems like a lot, but if you send that to me, it makes things so much easier. and when you send me the information and I can find the pieces quickly, then we're not losing time between emails. And I don't want you to lose anything that you have emailed me for. So I do appreciate this very much. And actually, it looks like a lot, but if you pause the video and write it down or however you'd like to do it, it's not much at all. A lot of people have their email open when they start watching my video and they'll send me an email each time they see something they like. I don't mind that either. I don't mind several emails in a row. Whatever you need to do to get your email to me before someone else is fine with me. So thanks for letting me explain all that. I've had several new subscribers that I've had to kind of go back and forth and I'm really trying to help them learn how to find these pieces of information. And it's really, upsetting to me if they lose a piece that they like because I can't find it. So thank you for letting me say all those things. Now, I don't want to spend a lot of time on negative things, but I have had a really crazy week. So I'll just be quick about this and then we'll go on with the jewelry. So there were no Friday night bags because Monday I had no electricity for the whole day. And that was okay. We got through that. And then Wednesday, we had some kind of a pipe broke in our apartment in some kind of a utility closet and started flooding in on Wednesday night. So we caught that quickly, but there were days of, you know, cleaning and moving things around and making sure that everything was okay. So that has really moved all kinds of things around in my place and taken a lot of my time this week. We are still without hot water and heat, so we're making a go of it, and we have a hotel that we can go take showers or sleep there if we need to. However, I would like to keep the video rolling and did not want to go a whole week without saying hello to you all and giving you something to look at. So because I don't have a lot of time to create new things, I thought I would just pull some bags out from videos that I have had and show you some things that haven't sold yet. And we'll just sit and talk and have some fun together. So how does that sound? Also, I have a new ring that I bought to resell and I fell in love with it. It's a sterling silver and labradorite ring. It's so beautiful. I've had it on since last week when I got it. And I'll let you know when I'm ready to, what do they call that, um, catch and release. I really did expect to sell it, but it's. I even slept with it on and it's so comfortable. So that's what I'm wearing on this hand. I don't have a lot of jewelry on and my nails aren't so pretty because of all that work I've had to do. And I also, I broke my finger, so I don't want to show you too much, but my poor little pinky finger got caught in the fan when I was moving things around. So it's been quite the week, I will tell you. Okay, let's go to the sterling silver video that I had and I pulled this bag out. There's quite a few things left. 
So why don't we talk about some of these for a little bit? That will be fun. So what I have first are these Alex and Ani bracelets. They've all been tested and they are all sterling silver. So if you're an Alex and Ani fan, that's really super for you because they're all sterling and they're wonderful. If you're not a fan, you can take these little pieces off very easily. Have yourself a sterling silver charm bracelet holder or even just enjoy the charms that are on it already. So just thought I would let you know that. And um, I'll show you each one as we go. But again, I tested them. They're all sterling, the charms and everything. So these are Alex and Ani. And I will say, let's just do $5 a piece on these, okay? So this one has an ice cream cone on it and the other usual Alex and Ani pieces. This one has probably half of best friends. Yes, it does. So maybe someone lost something like this and you're looking for another one. So that's that one. And this one has, you'll probably have to tell me what that is, but some kind of crisscrossy design. Again, all sterling on that. Alex and Ani, $5 a piece on these, so let me know if you like them. Here's one that doesn't have any special charms on the front, so you can get a look at what it would look like if you just took these off and put your own on. Now, I don't know how to do these, um, but there's some way you can put them on, and I'm sure a lot of you know. So there's one that's almost plain. Here's one that has some kind of a bowl on it. And looks like it just kind of, yep, here it goes. So again, sterling, $5 each on the Alex and Ani. Or maybe that wasn't a bowl, so it's, you know, it's okay. Whatever it is. This one, maybe those are letters. Not sure. It does look like an E this way and that way and then an eight. So I don't know if those are letters, but it's pretty. If you like it, let me know. $5 on the Alex and Annie's. Now this one, I think, says a lot of really nice things on it. Um, yeah, it says just lots of happy messages on that one. Sterling Silver Alex and Ani, $5 a piece. This is a cute little owl, and the the charms that are these three-dimensional, they're pretty good and heavy, so very cute. And another one here, this one, not sure what it says, I think it's refer referencing um, some place. So there's that one. You'll have to forgive me because my eyesight is not that good today. I think it's just, you know, lots of things combined together, so. And those floaters. So $5 a piece, Alex and Ani. I hope that's great. I took the price down from when I had the video. And then maybe I'll switch to another bag for a minute. This would be 23 pounds episode six finale. Let's see what we've got from that video. Oh, we have this gorgeous, isn't this a Chico's bracelet? Yes. This hunka hunka, beautiful brushed gold, textured. That's a heavy piece. Lovely Chico's bracelet. It measures, I'd say probably around seven. Put it that way. Probably around a seven. And I always like to show people that I saw this one time. If you put a bracelet on, a cuff bracelet, if you put it on in the softer part of your wrist here, and then you roll your wrist into it, it's much easier to put on. So I think that's a great tip. So we have this Chico's bracelet, quite beautiful, good quality. And let's see, what am I gonna say on this one? I'll say 12 on this, it's beautiful. So that goes over here. What else do we have in this episode? I really don't know. I mean, the bag has been 
in my storage place, you know, in a drawer right behind me since I made the video. So this is kind of like seeing it all over again for me too. And we can't all see every piece in every video, so I'm sure there's lots of you that didn't even see some of these pieces. This is a lovely, might be an Avon cameo necklace. Look at my poor finger. I don't want to show my finger. I'll try to go over here. Cameo necklace, a lovely chain. <laughs> Let's see, maybe we'll put it on Buster and that will help. Oh yeah, isn't that a pretty necklace? I'll check with Loopy to see if it says Avon. Pretty sure that it did, but let me make sure. Well, it actually has a letter P on the bottom. Right there. Get it where you can see good. Oh, last time in my video I was getting really good at this. Yeah, baby. So I hope you can see that letter P. And maybe that is also a sign of uh, a symbol that um, Avon uses. I'm not sure. But it's a lovely chain. Cute necklace for sure. 18 inches. And I couldn't tell you the material. It does feel cold. And I'll say $6 on that. What else do we have in here? Oh, this is really pretty. This is that Maltese cross. I was going to make a Friday night fun jewelry bag out of this necklace, but let's see what happens here. So this is signed Roman on the back. And I'm pretty sure I put this on a Roman chain as well, did I? Not sure, but it's a silver tone chain. Great condition. And... I would assume that's faux carnelian. That's a black stone for onyx. This is probably a jade color, turquoise color. And then a very blue, maybe for, um, oh, I'm trying to think of that blue stone that has a little bit of gold in it. Um, lapis lazuli. It's probably imitating that. So I'll heat up Miss Percy for a second and see if those stones are real. I can't remember from the video. It's been a while. Those of you that are new to my channel, quite a while ago when I started, well a whole six months ago when I started my channel, one day I drew some eyes and just for fun stuck them on the Presidium gem tester machine because it's called a Presidium and I gave the name Miss Prissy for Presidium. And we all had a fun laugh about that. So if you're new to my channel and you're wondering why this crazy person has eyeballs on the gem tester, that's why. So it stuck with us for a while. Then I had to draw some new eyes because the first ones that I did were just not the best. They weren't meant to be permanent. So this is a Presidium gem tester too. It's a fantastic machine. I do have a link to these in my description, in the video's description page. If you click under the title, you'll see the word more. Click on that word more and you'll go into the description of this video and there'll be tags for different things that you can shop at for shop on Amazon for and the Presidium is one of those things. If you'd like to shop for a Presidium through my channel, through the link that I have, I do get a small fee However, you will not pay any more for the machine than you would if you went to Amazon and bought it. So, just thought I'd explain that part. I do forget to say that a lot, so. Okay, let's see if these are just really beautiful glass imitations. They are actually the real stone. So that went to Jade. That is Onyx. Oh, this is so exciting. This I mean, I can't imagine that they're not all what they should be. So you can't really test turquoise, so I'm not expecting that. Let's see the carnelian. Definitely carnelian. It tests in the garnet. And I'm not sure about lapis lazuli if you can test on the presidium. But we definitely have jade, onyx, and carnelian. So those are real stones. I knew that Roman jewelry was very, very nice. I think they are out of business, so... 
probably a retired piece. Maltese cross. Oh, this is like seeing it all brand new again. Nice 20 inch chain, beautiful condition. And I'll say $20, $20 on that, okay? So that's that one. What else did we have in here? We have a beautiful art glass piece. Look at that heart, that's really pretty. It seems to have different color greens throughout with blue. And I almost feel like I see some like metallic, but I can't be sure. It's on a very nice silk rope chain with the button closure. Really sweet boho kind of piece. That might make a nice gift for someone that likes the boho. And it measures 18 inches. And I'll say $5. Lovely art glass. What else do we have in this bag? A really sweet paper clip chain. Great condition. It's about the size of a choker. Uh-oh, it's got a like a Swarovski crystal on the end. A bezel set Swarovski. So I have to wonder. I don't know who the maker is, but it's lovely. Excellent condition. Choker style paper clip. I don't think, well, it doesn't stick to the magnet, so that's nice. That could mean it's gold plated over copper. I like that crystal at the end. That really says something nice. It feels nice too. It feels like a very nice quality. It's 14 inches with a two inch extender. So 14 to 16. I think a lot of the young people are wearing choker style necklaces right now, amongst a lot of other things. So that's that lovely piece, and I'll say $6 on that. Okay, what else do we have for our pop-up fun second time around? Something so Sherry can talk to you video. Oh, okay, this is a beautiful glass ring costume, of course. And I would like to know what that type of glass is called, where they sort of checkerboard inside. For all I know, it does. it is checkerboard. It's great condition, in great condition, I'm sorry. Silver tone, pretty yellow color. I do have noted that it's silver over copper, but there is no wear on it. So that's fun. And this is a size seven. So if you like that, sweetheart, it is six dollars. Okay, this is kind of fun. Oh, this is a nice ring. Very nice. Oops, is it missing? No, it's not missing there. I think those are designs, but let's look closer. Oh, I don't know. It looks like a flower design carved. Doesn't look like anything was glued in there, but I can't be sure. Let me see if this tests as glass or anything that might indicate it is uh, turquoise. And there does seem to be little tiny seed pearls on it as well. It is adjustable. Ooh, look at the band. Isn't that pretty? Now, I would think if it's sterling, I would have had a little tag on it. It is slightly, slightly magnetic. No wear to it. So we're just going on the fact that it's very beautiful. Adjustable, pretty band, seed pearls. Oh, and these are shimmering like glass on the end here. So they're faceted little beads, see? Did you catch that little flash? So let me see what they do. Oh, they go up kind of a little bit high. Let's see. Come over here, little girl. Now, I'm so sorry that on my last video, I think there was a glare on the screen here, and it wasn't showing that well when I was testing the stones. So let me see if, I can't remember if there's like a protective plastic that maybe I haven't taken off of the machine. Sometimes when you're on camera, you have to scuff things so they don't reflect the light. I hope I don't have to do that to my Miss Prissy, but 
I'm hoping that that's going to show you what the results are a little better. So thank you for whoever let me know that that was happening on the other video. Okay, now I'm putting that tiny little metal tip on this turquoise color stone. And, well, it was going up quite high, but maybe that's because it's next to metal. So I do believe those are glass. Sometimes when they have metal around them like that, they can test a little higher. So that's what it is. Faceted glass, maybe a piece of turquoise, not sure. Lovely ring. Okay, let's get to what size it is. And it's a size six and a little over six, but remember, it's adjustable. Oh, that's gorgeous. Let's see. I'm a, I'm a little more than a six, so. It's a really pretty ring. I like that a lot. Okay, I'm going to say 16 on that. Great ring. Great, great ring. Next is this. Ooh. That is a really pretty tiger eye stone. Vintage ring. It looks to be gold tone but it has worn down to the silver tone on the band. It is prong set, adjustable, gorgeous stone. Can you see it through the other side? So that's nice. Let's see the size of this. And that is an eight and a half. Again, adjustable. Let's see, eight and a half I can wear right about here. So that's a really pretty ring too. So real stone but I don't think it is on sterling. Let me just check a little bit with the magnet. It's slightly magnetic. And no real reason to test the stone, but I'll show you for funsies. And there is your tiger's eye. So the needle went up to right about here. So that is a beautiful stone. Hope you loved that one, and I'll say $6 on that. Ooh, a couple more rings. I must have had some good rings in this. This was our 23-pound episode 6. So just so you know, the reason I ask for this type of information is because after the episode, I should show you one day what I do when the episode ends. When, when I'm unboxing and we're seeing things for the first time together. At the end of the video, I make my thumbnail by putting a lot of pretty jewelry out, take a picture of it. And then I put everything in one bag and I name it whatever the episode was. So this was episode 23 pounds, episode six. So when you ask me for something and you'd say 23 pounds, episode six, timestamp is such and such, I go to my stash, I pull the bag out, and it's just really easily found. So that's how I'm doing it. It's worked really well. So, Oh, this is a gorgeous, beautiful ring. I was looking at one that is a mine cut. And this does look like an old mine cut. So I'm trying to remember back at this video what this might have said. It's not marked that I can see. I'm pretty sure we tested it as glass, maybe CZs, cubic zirconias, but let's try it again. It's really sparkly, very beautiful. It's going up over glass. I think I would call that a cubic zirconia. So let me see if I can give you a nice close up. Oh, it's so pretty. What a beautiful sparkle. Probably about, hmm, I have a new tool. I don't know if it goes, I don't know if I'm supposed to use this to like measure a diamond, but, or a stone, but, oh, I don't know, let's try it. And I don't know if it works right because, okay, let's zero it out. Open this part up, just for fun. Let's see what it does. So I 
close this down on the stone, I think. This is more, I think, for measuring pearls, but I'm just using my new tool to see what it does. So, oh, it's so fiddly. I'd have to do it with, on down on the table. Let's try that. Come on, you fiddly. So, yeah, I'm new at using this tool for sure. So that measured 6.0. So six millimeters on the stone. Now I know you don't measure stones that way. You measure them in carats, but I just thought I'd show you my new tool. And then off it goes. So now I have something to measure pearls and things. Okay, back to the ring. It's very sparkly, excellent condition. Just my size. Oh, there's so much I could keep, right? And it really is fun to keep some of it. I'm going to guess it's a size 7. Let's see. Oh, yes. Right on. No, it's not a size 8. Size 8. So we've got this beautiful sparkle, and I'll say 15 on that. I think you could get quite a lot of wear out of that. It's open on the bottom. What a pretty ring. Okay. And last one for right now. This, I think... I've had this a long, long time, like since I was a kid. So let's see what it says. Some. Hmm. Maybe, I don't know what my notes say. So it looks like jade or the other green stone. Yeah, I think I did this last time and I apologize. And I'm kind of nervous because someone yelled at me in the comments and said, not everything that's green is um, chrysophrase. And I am aware of that. No, not everything that's green is nephrite. And I'm aware of that. But all I can do is go by the machine and say that it's testing in the nephrite range. So that's what I'm going to say again. It tests in the nephrite range. It's a vintage ring. Some hematite's missing, I think it says. Oh yeah, it has marcasites, not hematites. Marcasites around the edge, and I think there's a couple missing, so we're not gonna make too big a deal out of this ring, or maybe someone can enjoy it, use it for craft. It's a size eight, and I'll say $4, okay? And I'll try not to let the comments I try not to let them hurt our feelings as YouTubers. Um, and people don't mean to hurt our feelings, but sometimes it's not easy. <laughs> but keep them coming. I do love the comments. I don't want them to stop. Now, there's so many beautiful earrings. Let me show you some of the ones that are left from our sterling silver video. And a lot of stuff sold, and it was very, very fun to do. So we've got... For you, that, for you that like the crackly bags, I'm not going to worry about it because you say that you do like that. These are sterling silver. I have to figure out what my notes say. They are marked 925. They are leverback. They are real pearls and cubic zirconias. Nice, aren't they? So they are marked and everything. They're quite beautiful. Looks like maybe I looked them up, they go for $25, and I had a price of $16 on them. So there you go. A couple of disco balls, I call them. Cubic zirconias, all sterling silver, $16 on those earrings, okay? So that's those. These were fun because lots of people said they looked like little balls of yarn, and I agree. But they look cute on, too. So there you go, all sterling. I'm going to move my light over closer. Get some of this out of the way. Sterling silver earrings. They are wired. Have wires. And yes, they're all sterling and they're just cute. So cute. That's quite a lot of wire when you think about it all twisted around. So we have those and I would say $10 on those. Let's see, I'm not gonna put them back in the bag because 
I'm maybe going to get a thumbnail picture out of them. What do we have here? We have sterling, silver, and pearls. Oh, I remember this one. This is so gorgeous. Okay. I'm thinking because since I made the video to now, I have a piercing and I have two piercings in one ear that I could probably wear this earring. But let me just show you what it is first. Pretty sure that's, well, let me see. These are testing as glass right here. I thought maybe there was some rock crystal, but no, they're testing as glass. They are real pearls and it's on a sterling wire, but there's only one. So you'd have to either make it into a pendant or something, but the freshwater pearls are lovely and the sterling is always nice to have. So let me tell you how long that earring would be. It's three inches, a lot of material there. So pretty. I would say, gosh, it'd be easy to make that into a pendant, wouldn't it? I'm gonna say 10 on it, okay? Because the pearls are pretty. All right, let's see. These are just super old and super awesome. Sterling silver again, and they are geometrical, fun, teardrop shape earrings. And I think you can wear them this way or the other way around, could you? Oh yeah, look at that. That's pretty too, I'm not sure which one I like better. Okay, let's turn this one this way and this one this way and tell me which one you like better. I like them both. I like the fact that you get two pairs of earrings in one almost. So they are Mark 925 and they're all sterling. I love these and excusing the band-aid, I'll say $6 on these. Okay, these are also very lovely. They're like a brushed silver. They are quite old. Something tipped me off that they were quite old. Let me take them off my silly papers. But there you go, there's the back. Oh, there is my. Because there's a maker mark on the bottom. Yep, it says 925 actually, not a maker mark. I, I'm sorry about that. But it is a beautiful shape to the earring. And I love that frosted kind of silver. They are sterling. Love those, and I'll say $6 on those. Okay, now these are really something. They are solid sterling silver. The wires are sterling. They're pretty heavy. I think I'm gonna go get my, um, my scale, because last time I was going to, but didn't. Because I want you to know how heavy those are. They're really nice. They're not so heavy that you can't wear them, but I'm talking about heaviness as far as quality. So I'm gonna put those aside for a little bit and go get the scale. And then I have these super awesome, uh, these are pearl and turquoise inlay. They are not the um, Chinese um, sort of equalized symbol. They are just simply swirl, pearl and turquoise inlay. Vintage Mexico earrings. So really beautiful. Those would make a nice gift too. They're in good condition. And it says 925 on that flat part right there. Now, shell turquoise inlay Zuni. Yep. So we have these for $9. Those are pretty. Now this is a single. And I always sell singles when I believe they're worth it. And this is a sterling earring lever back. Or, hey, maybe... Maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe this is a necklace enhancer. Do you think? It might be. I think I was selling it as an earring, but that would not go through your ear. Oh, that's wonderful. So we have a necklace pendant and it does have gold and sterling. Not sure if it's gold over sterling on these beads, but this bead and this bead is gold and test it as gold. 
So that's exciting to know. So if you need a sterling silver chain, I do have some. And this is a pendant. Okay. It's marked inside 925. And again, I had tested it before. Oh, it's so pretty. Now I want to see it on a chain. So we have this enhancer or pendant. And I'm going to wait for my scale to weigh that too because it's got some good weight to it. These are cubic zirconia on sterling silver. And they really sell well on eBay. Lots of men, women, everyone are looking for precious metal with something that looks like diamonds. And these are no exception to that rule. They're very nice. And if I had a carat measure, I would definitely do that. But let's see, how can I give you some scale for the size of these? I'm not sure. Maybe just holding them in my hand. They're very nice cubics. They have, I think, six prongs on them. And again, my paper. <laughs> Let me take it off the paper, or at least show you the front part of it and how they're set. Okay, so that's a beautiful pair. And I will say 15 on those. And no one will ever know you're not wearing diamonds. These are, of course, sterling silver again. And they do have some vermeil, some gold over sterling on the top. A very brushed look on the bottom. Backs are clearly marked 925. And they're just dangly and beautiful. They catch some light and then they have the brushed look. So for these, these are a nice weight too. I would say 12 on those. Okay. Next, I think these are Vermeil. Yes, look at those cute little stars. Tiny little pierced earrings that, let's see how they work. Um, yep, they just clip like that. Okay, fun. They clip very nicely. They don't come apart. It seems that they're marked S something. Let me have a look. Um, trying to decipher my note. Maybe it's talking about sterling and the gold over the sterling. I don't know, but they are 925 underneath and they're precious. And I'd say 16 on those. Okay, be right back with the scale. Okay, I grabbed the scale, but before I do, we might as well take a second for those that are just joining us. If you'd like to know how to purchase any of the jewelry, please email me at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com. And I will need from you the video name with episode number, the time stamps of when your jewelry shows up that you love, a brief description of those pieces and the prices that I've given on the video. Okay, so thank you for that. I'll be able to find your pieces really quickly and we won't miss any communication back and forth. So thank you for that. Okay, we were talking about weighing these earrings because I think they're really worth you seeing how much they weigh. Let me see what I've got it on. Um, we want it on grams. Now, hmm. I don't want to mess too much with the phone, but hopefully you can see that. And let's put these on so you can see what they weigh. 13.1, that's a great amount of sterling. I love that. And I don't think I weighed them yet myself. So I'm gonna write 13.1 on them, on the tag. 13.1 grams. And other than that, they are really beautiful, well-made, awesome sterling earrings. So that's that. And I think I'm going to stick to the 45 price on those. Worth every bit, I believe. So 13.1 grams of sterling, 45 on those earrings. And let's see what our little necklace enhancer measures. Or ways. So let's see what our necklace enhancer or 
our pendant ways 2.2. So that is really a pretty piece. So that's fun. So just one more time, it's got beautiful scrolling vine designs on it and even has a design up on the top. So for this pendant, I will say 15. And if you'd like a sterling chain for it to go on, let me know because I've got, I've got some and I might even have some coming up in this bag. Okay, so we're switching back and forth to different things to kind of keep things fun. We did some sterling silver from one of our sterling silver videos. I priced those things. Okay, so that's going to go. I just don't want to forget what I priced already. So I'm going to put these earrings in this bag. Super duper. Now all of these things are going to go in a new bag now. And I will put a label on the bag saying, you know, whatever pop-up sale. And it will take on a whole new uh, storage name or however you want to call it. Okay, now we're really going to break things up. And I'm going to bring out this gorgeous, gorgeous moon glow necklace. Okay, this I unboxed, oh, a long time ago in the beginning of my channel. And there were a lot of things in that box that were just lovely. I haven't taken the necklace out for a while, so I want to just take a peek at the clasp and see if it says sterling. Not seeing anything on there. Let's see if it's magnetic. It's not magnetic at all, and it's a beautiful necklace. I, I, I mean, Moon Glow is stunning. But look at this one. It just grabs the light. So it has a lighter citrine, a darker citrine, and this beautiful cinnamony red, and then almost a clear. And then you go back to the lighter yellow, darker yellow, beautiful red, and clear, and it graduates in size a little bit. Well, let's see. There's that size, this size, and then the bigger size remains all the way to the other side. So we have three different sizes on the necklace. Now let's see what Buster thinks of it. Oh my gosh, it's really beautiful. Okay, let's come back so that you can see from further away. And oh, it's stunning, really stunning. So these are some of the things I'd love to get on my eBay, into my eBay store, but there's so many hours in a day. So let's see if you love it and if it's something that you'd like to have. I do think it's awesome. We could test this with sterling if you need to know. Because although I'm not seeing anything, it really looks it. But let's just see. I might be able to tell without even um, completing the whole test. Because, yep, because if you start on the stone and it doesn't remain a silver color, then you can see that it's silver over copper, which is quite typical. And I love that it's over another real metal. So you have a silver tone barrel clasp, beautiful moon glow thermoset vintage necklace. That's stunning. Okay, I showed it to you there. I'm gonna have to measure how long it is. So this is a piece that I just love, but I can't keep them all. This is almost 20 inches, super well made, I'm gonna say I'm going to say 45. It's absolutely stunning. And the colors are great. I would think all the way year round. You've got reds at Christmas. The yellows bring you to summer. I really think it's worth it. You let me know what you think and I will put that in tonight's episode, okay? Okay, we left off on some sterling. Now let's see what else we have left from some of our other episodes. I have no idea what's in these. Um, let's see. 
This is, oh, our semi-precious stone sale from August. Let's see what we've got left in here. There's some beautiful things in here. Um, yeah. Okay, so we have this bracelet. It has a tree, all sterling, and lots of beautiful stones around the bracelet. And I did measure this before, but I didn't write it on the bracelet, so we'll do it again. Six and a half. This is a brown cording around the edge. It's all lovely condition. Again, sterling silver on this part here. And I'll say $6 on the gemstone bracelet. Next, we have this agate necklace that is quite long, which is always nice. A barrel clasp. Let's see, I think this had like a double barrel clasp or something. Let me just make sure it works. Yeah, I got to figure out what's up with that. Maybe I'm just not turning it the right way. Yeah, let me see what I have to do here. So I do apologize. I'm not sure what's happening. We have a barrel clasp that secures just perfectly right here, but we have another one over here. So I'm not sure what happened. It is fully functional. Take it off here and put it back on. Um, a few thoughts, maybe this part of the barrel clasp I was looking at it, it's not stripped at all, it doesn't seem to be damaged, but that is a little bit of an issue with that. It's still functional. So let's have a look at what we have. We have all these pretty stones. They are orangey and multicolor. Some greens come into play and then the stones get bigger towards the front. So I'm guessing carnelian agate. I do remember testing the stones during that my precious stone sale video but let's have a look so I can show you that they are genuine stone and I wonder if there's a way I can tilt the light so it doesn't make that reflection okay let's see I'm testing the gray color stone and you can see that it goes pretty well into the stone area it's, I would say it's some kind of a quartz agate. Really pretty. And also the orangey ones, I would say like a carnelian agate. And they're testing right in the garnet area, so that sounds right on to me. And the white beads are testing a stone. Just wanted to show you that it is all genuine stone. Very pretty indeed. Now I'm not sure if I had a chance to test these beads. So let me do that really quick. It could be, it could be that the necklace had a 14 karat gold clasp and they took the clasp off and put this on. Let's have a look at that. I think I'll do that. Hi everyone, the video ran really long, so I'm gonna stop this part of it right here. Just remind you how to purchase. Just email me at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com with those four pieces of information. You can find this in the video description above also. I mean below the title, sorry about that. So I just wanted to sign off right here. Thank you so much for watching. I will post the other second half of this probably over the weekend. So we'll see you around, and we'll see you next time at the Bobbles. Don't forget to subscribe and click the like button on your way out. Thank you all so much. Bye-bye.